Okay, so it's time for us to download Logic Pro X. Here we have the Apple App Store open up on our computer right now. And I just made a search for Logic Pro X. And you can ignore the Swedish text here is just because I live in Sweden right now. So we have that text here. And um, yeah, and this is basically where you go and get Logic Pro X from. You just go to the App Store, search for Logic Pro X, and you will get this window here. So in Swedish, amount is this amount, and it should be around $199 US dollars for that. So it's somewhere around there. And uh, for this course, we're going to use the version 10.3.2. So that is the version from July 18th, 2017. So if you have a version that is above this one, it can differ a bit of the instruction that we're going to go over this course. But every time there is a single update of the version in Logic Pro X, I'm going to make a video about that so we can adjust the differences of this course and the new version. So if there are some big differences, then I'm going to redo the whole course or section of the courses. But just so you know that you can proceed with this course even if you have another version. Uh, it's very important though that you have the, at least the version 10.3.2 and you should have that because if you buy Logic Pro X from the App Store then you will have the latest updates here. So when you are done buying Logic Pro X from Apple Store then the download will start and the download for Logic Pro X is right now around one gigabyte so it should take maybe half an hour or something like that, depending on your internet speed, of course. And the languages for Logic Pro X is English, French, Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, and German. So when you download Logic Pro X for the first time, you will get a window that I will show you. And the window looks like this, as you can see here and it's downloading the essential sounds that you need with Logic. So even though you're downloading Logic Pro X from the App Store with that 1.3 something gigabytes, you will still have to download some essential sounds that, uh, that Logic needs to run itself for. So when we are going over this one and just downloading it, you can go and watch this I am new to Logic Pro or I have used Logic Pro before and I would just get rid of this window. So if you're going to the I am new to Logic Pro, we will get some brief instructions here on how to do stuff basically in Logic. And I will go after this, this one here. So I will refer to this a lot in this course. And uh, yeah, that is what the download does. So when the sounds are downloaded, the initial sounds, you will have still a good amount of sound libraries that you can download that comes with Logic Pro X. And by that, I mean sound li libraries that are up to about 50 gigabytes worth of sounds. And they are included in the Logic Pro X when you buy it. So you can just download it on your computer and use it. And they are free to use. So you can use it in, inside your productions without anything to, to think about, about like comp copyright issues or, or something like that. So to find those sound libraries, you go to Logic Pro X in the menu here. Of course, you have to have Logic Pro X open. Then you go to Sound Library and open Sound Library Manager. And from this window here, you can go ahead and select all of the sounds that you want to have on your computer. 
And obviously, all of these sounds are going to take up a lot of space.